Hello and welcome to the CMIP Debate Theatre here at NAB Show 2022. Our next session is starting now. Let's welcome to the stage Jessica Angiano to talk about su subscriber retention management. Welcome, Jessica. Hi, everyone. Okay, can you hear me? Is it? Okay. Uh, great. So, as mentioned, my name is Jessica. I am an account director for Enterprise Accounts at Kling. Uh, we have the uh, honor of be working with these very, very cool properties. And uh, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, churn trends, uh, which is a big topic right now. So, let's get started. Uh, just a bit of background from Kling. Uh, we've been working for more than 10 years now. Uh, we have over 300 active broadcasters. As mentioned, very cool brands that we're working with. I'm a big sports fan, so the opportunity to be working with Tennis Channel, Big Ten Networks, uh, and MXGP and so on, uh, it's amazing. Uh, and we w are uh, deeply integrated into their workflows. Uh, as of now, we do 48 million transactions per day, and we have 99.99% availability of our platforms where we're very, very stable. But let's go into why we're talking about churn today. So uh, as mentioned, uh, Kling started uh, back in 2011, mostly focusing on uh, uh, selling digital assets, moving on to the live pay-per-view uh, uh, space, and then we moved from the transactional uh, live pay-per-view to the subscription business. When we're talking about the subscription business, we quickly realized that it's not only about just getting the subscribers, convert them, but it's about retaining them. And that makes a big, big difference in your subscription business. So talking about that, it's not about having a CRM, but the idea is that now we have a subscription retention management. Why is that key to the success in OTT? Well, these two reasons points it out perfectly. So it's 10.8% is the average monthly uh, customer churn rate for SBOT services. And that is huge and impactful in terms of the business. Also, we all know that it's seven, to, uh, seven times more expensive to acquire new subscribers than to keep the ones that you already have. So for sure, it's a, a better business overall if you just keep your subscribers and grow the business that way. What Kling is doing in order to help retain subscribers for these SVOD services is to make actionable subscriber data and put it into uh, a great and actionable dashboard. How this is achieved is by first gathering all of the data, analyzing it properly, and then moving on to quantifying it uh, into a great data lake that we'll touch on in a minute. And that allows us to predict and uh, identify the users who might be at the, at the risk of churning. But it's not only about that, like you wanna get to the point where you can actually make something before you lose them or even win them back and continue to close the loop with analyzing how uh, those actions actually made an impact in the system. So you now wanna have a subscriber management system with a best-in-class data lake, so combining the operational tools uh, and even uh, adding some other extra uh, data to combine it into a data lake that is going to have logistic regressions, machine learning, and uh, all of the industry benchmarks that then go into an actionable dashboard with the, cu the customer journey from the moment they sign up to the moment that they're at risk or engage, or even when you want to win them back. This is the big innovation that we're presenting at NAB. So we uh, were able to map the top 20 churn propensity variables. So we're talking from uh, when this person subscribed, what type of offer they chose, how engaged they've been, uh, in what are the possibilities of their payment to go through. So uh, this comes into this descriptive outcome that later on uh, creates a decision tree uh, 
that identifies the propensity uh, and the overall outcome of how these uh, users might actually stay or uh, leave your platform. But all of this actually combines up to a 92% accuracy of who is likely to churn. Now, we're sharing a very good graphs of how this looks like. And once we gather all of that data, we create the segments to see, and you can see it over uh, on the graph, who is likely to churn. Uh, once we combine all of these elements, we can get to that churn accuracy up to 92%, which is very unique in the market. The fun part is when this data is actually able to be put into action. So what can you do with this? You have the segments, you know what happened, you know the reasons why they might churn. So the idea is that you can take this data and create triggers using all of the platforms that you already use, uh, like uh, marketing uh, platforms, uh, other CRM platforms like Salesforce, and combine those to make triggers and actions uh, that you can customize and talk to your users directly. And that will have an immense impact in how they pr uh, foresee uh, the relationship uh, with your platform. So the gains are actually uh, something that you will be able to see after that. Uh, by using these actionable items, you go from uh, lowering churn uh, up to like 30%. So we can see it amongst our clients that like while the industry benchmark is around 11% uh, of churn monthly, our clients are going to like more six or 7% of, of churn. Uh, so that allows them to be growing and that makes them happy. We are happy too. Uh, and then up to 36% of the customer uh, uh, win back rates are achievable uh, optimizing their strategies. So uh, now that uh, we've explained how uh, the model works, uh, you can also predict with 92% accuracy uh, who is going to churn from your platform. And if you're interested to see a, a, a live demo, we would be super happy to see everyone at uh, W9507. Um, we also have, have coffee and donuts. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.